The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. So discussing discipline in the home. Now, to us no, this are See, the possessing the nation's agenda includes youth and children. We need to reclaim our children and youth for God. And we need to be intentional about that. One of the ways is to discipline our children. Proverbs 29, 17 says, Twenty nine seventeen says, Discipline your children, and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delight you desire. Mm-hmm. I hope you remember this scripture. Fine. So, we are trying to connect to last week. So, when we talk about discipline, we talk about discipline because life is guided by rules and regulations. Now, take that from me. We talk about discipline. Because life is guided by rules and regulations. Even, even the earth that we, 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 we stand on is guided by rules and regulations. There are some immutable laws that govern the earth. So you cannot be a human being dwelling on earth without following rules and regulations. So when we talk about discipline, discipline is training to act in accordance with rules and drill. Because life is governed by rules and regulations. So when we are talking about discipline, we are saying training to act in accordance to the rules and drills and regulations. Discipline is activity, exercise, or a regiment that develops or improves a skill. Now, every human being is gifted by the Almighty God to be a governor, someone who will manage the earth and then contribute to the earth. And because of this, he has vested in us gifts, but discipline will help develop these skills. Therefore, discipline is not negative. When we have a society of disciplined people, certainly 
there will be development. Se ye wo ni pe kuo bi a otumi ebo wo mbra ne kwan so ne kwan so a e de enkoso e ba. Yeah, you need even to discipline yourself to study. Okay, so we pese osua de mpo a e se so bo modian so betumi a show ho so ye. So that you can become the doctor that you want to become. Na wo tumi akoye enyia yodruye fo a wo pese wo ye no. So we are saying that discipline is activity, exercise or a regiment that develops or improves skill. And the can say in so and it's a obi a bombodia would you made and as I de bimu no nam so it to me and koso a wuni sue and hunu and any answer sue bimu. Now when we talk about discipline again, we are talking about punishment inflicted by way of correction and training. So you can't hear so and it's a yeah tree or being so as so. Now, this punishment I'm talking about is by way of correction and training. Now, so in discipline, we correct, we punish to correct and to train. When we talk about discipline, we are talking about rigor or training, effect of experience and adversity. The training effect of experience and adversity. Se ye kanti ya suwa, ene se ye wo o yeng ananti tiye biya e numono e disu ye hunu eba empo tode biya ne ye yao eni wa haumu. Now sometimes we learn from what we go through. Tode biya, numa ye fe munu ye nyesu ye hunu hudu ebebele chumu. We learn from the bad things that happen to us. Numa boni ya ete si ewa yako ya munu mpu ye suya numa frimu. Because you know now that when you did it that way, this was the effect, now you don't do it in that same way again we learn from the experience we go through whether bad or good nya ye nemu no ye tai nya sue huna hudo firi mu se ye papa o se ye boni o nti e boyen e ma nsunsuanso aye nya bribe ni se nya ye nsan nya bio e nya san nsunsuanso now we we'll take some of these definitions and dwell on them well in future nchire mu a ye de ama e fa nti eso hui no ye kwi ye be yi ni mako e ma so at least you can now see that discipline is beneficial now, discipline is beneficial to you, to the parent, to the society, to the nation, and to the world. Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. From seven to eleven, yes, shall see every and so no idea. We will be going through seven to eleven, but let me take verse eleven, the big one. Answer now, mommy, and share in you would do back. I want us to pay attention to what is on the screen. Mama, you tell her you need to share near what you're doing. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it na asotwe biara sei sei de enye yense anigide na mmum awere hode nanso akire no eso asomdwe aba eye trene ema won a wonam so aso won ahwe no brothers and sisters adofonom Discipline is a harvest of peace and righteousness, both to parents and children. Discipline is a harvest of peace and righteousness, both to the parent and to the child. And yes, so we are so assumed we any training aba at the map mofra any a wolf in so. So discipline is good. And yes, yes, so a year. Discipline blesses society. And yes, so it is a bread of mine. Disciplines bring peace and righteousness to homes. And yes, so at the assumed year any training a bread in Now discipline blesses nation. Okay, we 
a boa emma emishira eba amanyi naso so i want us to rise and discipline our children and discipline ourselves as well enti me pese ye sorry na ye tie ye ma na ye tie ye ankasa so ye ho hallelujah amen when we are talking about discipline, we are talking about leading yourself. When you put a group of people together and then someone is leading them, you say, This person is a leader. But when you are leading yourself, then we say you are disciplined. Leading yourself is discipline. And no, You see, you have a mouth, you have a hand, you have a head, you think, you have a mind. You should be able to lead yourself and tell your mind, this is not how you should think. Stop thinking that way. David says that God. Obama misweigh the thoughts of our hearts and our minds. He says that so, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable unto you, O Lord, because you are my strength and my redeemer. So when evil thoughts come, it comes into your mind, you have the power to allow it to be there or to check it out. This is discipline. Leading yourself is discipline. David is saying, "Everybody, man, you make journey any new free man no more. Any show when you come on the end, you am. You walk, you know, you walk, you journey, you need any action. We no mean that yet, yeah. Now, so near, we move be here, be ano. As you to me share, I want to share. A bit far, no come on the show when you come on the end, you am. You can never stop bears from flying over your heads, no. But you certainly you can stop them from making their nest on your head. Yes, and no more come. I will treat you. Rise and control yourself, and that is discipline. Sorry, so I was so now we and in so. So Hebrews chapter twelve from verse seven. The Hebrew for Mano, it did me no, you shall see if you moon so and your hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his. Children, for what children are not disciplined by their father? So, Mukun Asutri Mu Amanier Tinemua, Unyankopon, a Yamuse Ma, na Oba Bain, na Owa, Neja, and Kinaso. If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters. At all. That's a moon ni a so chia won yina and ye be no bea and ye we a drama ma na mun ye and mapa. Now I want us to take some lessons from this passage. So as we read, please pay attention and see what lessons you can glean from this passage. Yeah, Bomodian say a bet tasse at this year be everywhere mun tia can kai bomodiana de tree ye pa now verse nine. Yeah, you moon crown. Moreover, we have all had Human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the Father of Spirits and live? Ebio, ye wo ye hunam fem e janum se asuchi for na ye fari wong. Na ye nfa ye hun en she hun hun e janu ase. En chani sa api mum na ya tenase. They disciplined us for a little while. As they taught best, but God disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share in His holiness. Yes. Then verse eleven, the big one. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace to those who have been trained by it. Now, as such, we be a say say there, and ye ye, and ye ye, no mum, I will hold ye, and so a chain no, 
so asomdua ba e ye tene e ma wa wonam so aso wan hwe no now what lessons are we going to pick from this verse when you can can you know e dia disua e ne ye sesa efri remember we have said that discipline is necessary because life is governed by rules and regulation ka ye se ye dikan aka se you don't be a good manager in any office when you don't guide the rules and regulations. You have to guard the rules and regulations. It must work. Otherwise, you things will go out of hand. And yes, sir, a normal. There are so many people who want to look good in the eyes of people. And eventually they destroy institutions because they don't guard the institutions with rules and regulations. So what are the lessons from Hebrews 12, 7 to 11? Number one, discipline helps us to behave in accord with rules of conduct. Because we had a father and a child. Because the father wants the child to conduct him or herself in certain ways. So we are saying that discipline helps us to behave in accord with rules of conduct. Now, discipline helps us to maintain order and control. Now, discipline is a proof that you are the legitimate father and a good parent, a legitimate mother and a good parent. And so we address a wuni a ja papa and a oba papa and I say wuna we ye embra kwan swe ja and I say a ja mapa. Now another great thing that we have learned from this scripture is this. Now yes you have you if you can come when say everyone undergoes discipline. Obiara a young so. If you don't discipline yourself, someone will discipline you. Say one continue so much, and I will be one one tell one will be better. Now, if you find yourself in prison, you will see that you should have started. You should have started disciplining yourself long ago. And because you couldn't abide with certain rules and regulations, they will force you to abide by some of them by all means. One show up when you need to copy a fiasco. One can say, "Be who knows? Be be a fine and yet be boy more to talk when you." Everyone. Undergoes discipline. Another point is this. No discipline is pleasant at the time. The time that you are trying to hold your body in check and then do what you think you ought to do because the body wants uh, sometimes to do what it wants. But crucify it on the cross. Whilst you crucify it, you are helping it to, to be whipped in, in order. Because shouldn't just say that I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. If you are crucified, be crucified. So can I say, and you are no cake and now the back answer, what bomb in the crystal send him? So what bow are sending him? Only crystal, she named Mumsa. See, many people who desire to be crucified, you crucify. When you crucify, doesn't mean you don't see. When Christ was crucified, he saw the mother, he was still giving instructions. So when you crucify the body, you still see women walking about. So don't say that. I'm crucified, but as for today, let me down from the from down from the cross. Remain crucified with your eyes open. 
Say, what boy send your ma when you hunna dear, who said ma neokui and nipa and a tremi. Now Christo Brown were born a send your pono, do not to me who said Nena, and ye now or daswa et to as she send one ma. And to a boy send your ma shan one can say do bribe one for me messy form. Coswana mount Sasuna and Aduano and we won't say. This voice. <laughs> You see, when you leave the body crucified on the cross, you see it screaming. In, you, you can feel sometimes for the body. But when you leave it crucified for a long while, it will die. So what Bonnie Pediana send you a ma who no saw fire yaw mu now so bomb dia jai man no cost wa bus and you anymore who bones will be woo it pediano it will die a be woo cra so don't let it down the Bomodian win Sanya Mafia because of the pains it's Sanya Yao ni yaw leave it there for a while Modia Jamani must and it will die now Jaina a be woo it will die so let's progress to my into us as children of God, He disciplines us. Another point is this God disciplines us for our good in order to share in His holiness. Now, because of this statement here, let's support it with First Corinthians eleven thirty-two. First Corinthians eleven thirty-two. Nevertheless. When we are judged in this way by the Lord, we are being disciplined so that we will not be finally condemned with the world. So what do we get from here? When we are disciplined, it does so so that we are not condemned with the world. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. I will hold ye, Nan so a trino, a so as some jabba, a yet trini, and my one one nam so as so on shano. So we are encouraging parents to discipline. And yes, she a wolf on cry say, We are encouraging children to be disciplined. Yes, she a mum cry and say, One cassa, one young one. We want to encourage the church to be disciplined. Yeah, bomb what the answer, so new cry and say, One ye or tien, and as I tien, we want to encourage you. To discipline your life and yourself. I want so your bomb on the ash on crying, says Shaw Mosso, and I say Tina and Tiens Woman. Now, when we are saying parents should discipline children, we are not saying that enter into the boxing ring with your four year old boy. You can't say I will fall and Tien Woma, not your interest, while your penino, and no Bakumano, and more a Kutruku, and I'm going to there should be good discipline in the home. As I see a so Papa, And good discipline is founded on good relationship. Not just to have a relationship with someone, not because you are a father, but if you want to have good discipline, it must be founded on good relationship. Are we together? What makes discipline welcoming and effective is good relationship. This is what you I like this. Image. What makes discipline welcoming and effective 
is good relationship. Yeah, man, tin so ye do me ye no pa no. And they say one num a yon kufaso eye. Effective relationship will bring good discipline. A yon kufaso unkwa a da wonne mofra and now man temono a dinti and swan papa and eba. So to have the benefits of discipline, parents should be relational. And it's a bit to me and yan tia swomu abba pa as I say a wolf walk. Teachers must be relational. As I said, at church for any young co papa. Area heads must be relational. As I said, young soft one penny for a war a young co fast room. Pastors must be relational. As I said, a soft war a war a young co fast. Elders must be relational. As I said, a sorry penny for so a to me a young co fast room. Come on, a sorry man. To have the benefit of good discipline, parents and all those in leadership. Should be relational. You bet to me and your papa at the affinity so much as a second to fool you now. You are for what to me what I young coffers from. Why am I saying I didn't see an American way? Josh McDowell said this, and I want to quote it. Say now, Josh McDowell, a kind rules without relationship leads to rebellion. Emra, what she said, Dawa. And nam a young coffers from Coso and Ebano, you could view you no a twenty. Rules without relationship leads to rebellion. Emra, a young coffer in Nimono, a dear twenty and Eba. McDowell is an evangelical Christian apologist and evangelist in the United States. Yeah, or can we our friend Josh McDowell no you be a what quadari oh in Yamisumi ye pa and I sign a yes and pakeni. Roger Hillan is an ambassador for the Evangelical Fellowship of Canada. He also said this the key to the youth is relationship. They value authenticity before authority. Roger. Hela ni so ononso we sunya nyamisumi ye pa na na brabo mono asemwe eno kaye. Wase kwenye ye befa so etumye nya ayonko fa e wo yen ene emebunu ente mono. Ene se ye be ye diye ye kano. Na no bema uwe bu ye ntumi achen ya ye ka. They value authenticity. They want to see, they want to see that you're authentic. You, you, you do what you say. And then before authority. Who say you to me? Ya wash your canino and your tumino. Nemo will be say a bit to me. I had your cano and sana will be in tumino. The key to the youth is relationship. Why? Because they value authenticity before authority. A quiet bit to me and the Melbunu and your young Kofa Papano, the Safwa, and they say you bit to me. I had your cano. The son say will say a bayer the cano a chain. To brothers and sisters, I don't know. many times we talk about how Nathan went to uh, David and actually convicted him of wrongdoing. But I think that there was something more than what he said. See, the prophet Nathan got to David's heart, not only because of how he spoke. No, of course, he spoke well. But most importantly, by the relationship they had built over the years, David knew that Nathan had his interests at heart. David Now they were friends. No way now for four. They were real good friends. No way now for four. Pa, pa, pa. He was somebody that David could talk about what he wants to do for the Lord. He was the priest and he was also a good friend. And he knew that this man does not mean harm to me. Yeah, not at all. And Coupled with what he said and how he said it, David realized that God was speaking to him. 
na oni netan wasa yonko fire kwesi se otimene na ka etimusempo efa ne opese oyɛ edi ma wurade ho na won samwa david tifi netan ho no ohunu so difo no e won ho adwempa you see when solomon became king and the old men told him that you speak well to these people and they will become your servants you learn how to speak well to them and they will become your servant if you talk harshly at them and you all you speak at them they will also rise against you speak well to them and they will become your servant Solomon beye ohine no onye futu obi se obo modia ne empenifo no eka se ya wo beye na somfo nanso oni won kasa basabasa wo be sori etia no now brothers and sisters i do for i say there's a burden on all of us now to rise and discipline our own lives and be people who can also discipline our household because it will help the church and it will help the society. I think I say you need this was from Kose. I say say you bomb more dia. I think you huye. Na I think you pay to you when she ano. I say say be you fasto dia. I di amasore no. I ni omai no. Colossians three verse twenty one. Omi enche bibi. I wo kolosi fon homa. Kolosi fon homa. I ti mi ensa. I ni yimu e di kaino. Colossians three twenty one. Kolosi fon homa. Now shall we read together, ready, go. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Shall we take it again? Fathers or maybe, let's say mothers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Discouraged. Who is going to become discouraged of what? They will lose faith in you and in your word. Not that they are going to be discouraged. Yes, what? But they will lose faith in you and in your word. So, Let's see how God does it. Hebrews 12, verse 6. Remember that the whole of chapter 12 to a point is talking about discipline. We read from verse 7. Now let's go to verse 6. So we see the foundation that he stood on before he spoke about the discipline. Because the Lord disciplines the one he loves. And he chastens everyone he accepts as his child. So let me close with by saying this. Relate well with your child. Or, and the people in your household. And they will not shun your discipline. Now one part relate well with your child not all and the people in your household and they will not shun your discipline relate well with your child and the people in your household and they will not shun your discipline Shall we read this together? Ready, go. Relate well with your child and the people in your household, and they will not shun your discipline. Shall we take it again? Relate well with your child and the people in your household, and they will not shun your discipline. Amen. And no ma and you fear for anything a year na one pa one tier so. Maybe you are listening to me. Maybe I would hear me and then you may you want to relate well with your children. I said one ma etina ye. 
there's strength in the Lord to be able to do that. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to lift up your hands by way of action. And repeat this prayer after me. Say, Dear Lord. I repent of my sins today. I accept Jesus as my Savior. It's a simple prayer. I saved your life.